Your one job, bro. Your one fucking job, bro. Oh, you had a fluid. Good. Pull it back. What's up, bro? It's on your neck. <laughs> so bad, bro. Fuck you! Six rotor time, boys. We got the front bumper off a of six rotor. It's pretty easy, really. There was just a, uh, a tag for each light, either side. There's just the bottom bar mount there, and then it was just joined there and there, just on the side. So joined, joined, and then there was where the light tag went to, and then there's where the uh, bottom bars there bolt to. And so. now we're gonna pull the oil cooler out so to undo that we've got to get down and undo the fan the fan's got some studs that are coming off the back of this oil cooler so the back of the oil cooler has got some studs coming out of it to hold the fans so four studs each fan pull the fans off and then we can pull the oil cooler and uh, once we get it out we can slide it up slide it up out the way then we're going to pull this alternator off that heat shield off then we're going to get down in there we can go travel all the way along six pipes and then uh, get them all done up because they're all loose and she's sounding like a tractor at the moment she's hooning around like a massey ferguson no good we have to be dizzle no luck bro no luck uh did you glue it no i haven't glued it yet but uh even just trying to get it on just trial and error do you get the get it on mate yeah so this fell off while at chrome eh? Mm. pretty much just dropped into her hand so bro we knew that would give you the hardest task of the night eh? so now we've got the uh panels off on the inside, oh, crocodiles, brothers. So we've got the panels off on the inside here so that we can access through. So here's the inside of the cockpit. There's the sort of the center one, there's the top center. There's not much room to work in this car, so we've also got the handbrake there, which is on that. Um, basically that rod arm, which is all the way back to the master, sort of just above the drive shaft, so we'll get that master cylinder out. Um, from putting the car up in the air, so we'll get her up on some uh, jack stands soon. We'll have to pull all the wheels off, clean all the wheels, and then also bleed the brakes. Battery's on charge. So yeah, it's just get the mahi done, boys, because it's what, counting down 72 plus 24, whatever that is, a eh? 96 hours to go, bro, and this thing's on the boat. It's quick, mate. Yeah, bro. boy. <laughs> get her up here. Maybe if we put a little bit of cardboard or something like that, we could probably sit it up there, eh? Bit of cardboardy. If we sit that up here, that's us. We should just rest. Yep, up there, out the way, eh? So chuck a bit of cardboard up there. Got the oil cooler up. We put it up there the first time. This line here was kinked big time, so we just demarked had a good idea. We just loosened off that fitting, and then just uh, yeah, just rerouted it around. So we're just gonna pull off this uh, alternator. So obviously there's the tensioning bar down the bottom, which will loosen the belt. Take the belt off the alternator pulley, and we'll get the alternator out the way. Then behind the alternator is that little heat shield, and then booyah, we're into the. Uh, Went to the exhaust bolts. You still set that mirror yet, bro? Ah, uh, just like, yeah, it's, it's sorted. It just needs some glue, mate. Mate. We haven't, we haven't got any on site. Got a heat shield riveted in there. Look how long this can. Get rid of that, bro. Oh, that's easy, bro. Well, that's just a cap yeah, screw. Yeah, just one little cap screw. cap screw, bro. There she is. There's Mr. Captain. Just a wee cap Get screw. one Captain, bro. One Captain down, brother. Hey, what was so hard about this over the phone today? Fuck, I can't believe it. Dan rang us up, hey, wanted the key. Oh my we God. sent him, it's the, it's the yellow tag yeah, with on track. the single key there. And he's like, oh yeah, sweet, what door does that open? Well, we've got one, two, three, four <laughs> roller doors yeah. and one PA door. So what you do, bro, is you grab the single key and you walk up to the roller door and you put it in the roller door and the electric roller door opens. Yeah, should we give it a run? Yeah, well. Nah, the doesn't seem to work. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Got the talking jack. Back on. We've got her all up on axle stands now. We've taken off the uh, quiet exhaust. Where is it? That bad boy over there. I think that's only come on once when we went to Manfield. It's not coming down. Bro. This time. And then we had a. We're leaving at home. <laughs> 
We had it on once down in Manfield when we had to be 75 decibels, which we did actually pass. The noise decibel meter was ages away. Now we're gonna put old Timmy Trumpet, the straight. We're gonna bang him back in the back. Uh, I gotta fix where it mounts onto here. So um, yeah, we'll get him on there. We have uh, got the master cylinder hidden all the way up there which is uh, for the handbrakes. We're gonna give that a bleed up and see, but we're pretty sure that the seal has blown in the master cylinder. Got the alternator out of the way, put the oil cooler up there, and we're tightening up all of the exhaust manifold bolts. They've come loose. Now they're real hard to access. Obviously that exhaust um, manifold there, it's got six pipes coming out of it, and it's also got six pyros on it, and it's just hard to get into all of the places. So we managed to get the top four with just a socket, ratchet, uh, just on the 3 8 drive and then all the other ones we're having to cut spanners down so we've got multiple spanners that we've just gone and sacrificed from old tools and cut down to length so we've got a short one in there now so we're going to get on to what have we got a couple of three more to go i think yeah. so let's get these tightened up get this job out the way we've just thought me and dan that we are actually becoming highly qualified six rotor mechanics so anyone with a six rotor out there that needs a mechanics me and dmuck are uh, almost highly qualified six rotor mechanics. What? what a serious race car, brother. Hey. <laughs> so we've managed to get, what do we do? Two, three hours on the, all of the exhaust bolts and the pyros, they're done after cutting four. three different uh, spanners down. Finally got all of that done. Now, now the fans are just coming on now. We're just tightening up the oil line that we moved. So oil cooler is going back on. We'll probably leave the front bumper off until we bleed up all of the brakes and do a bit of a nut and bolt check. Um, so after we've got the fans tightened up, plugged in, zippy, zip tie the lines up, then we will, um, yes, yeah, start bleeding the brakes. It's good to be working on the six rotor. Um, in the past, we haven't had probably the time to maybe be working on it. Well, there's been a couple of issues, which has mainly been the crank seal. So a lot of the work on that end has been done by PPRE, but now that we haven't got the crank seal issue, um, of course, yeah, we're into it. Always hands on. We get the maintenance done ourselves. It's good to finally actually, yeah, see how f how finesse the whole car. Is, yeah, right? hard out. We've never really actually worked on the car because every time it's gone back to PPRE for either um, a checkup from its first sort of showdown, or like I say, we had to crank seal one or two times, um, or two times. So we went back there. They pulled the box out. Um, all of the you know exhaust manifold. Um, exhaust and etc and got to the back of that and then of course while it was there because it was there for the time we just got nothing bolt checked done and this and that and any other snags so uh, a lot more complicated than the ones we're used to like the super saloon the saloon drag car any of them there's a lot more room in those race cars compared to this one she's tight every single thing is just i mean just take a look like doesn't matter where you are this where six rotors are in there um you know like doesn't matter what tunnel you're in what area of the race car um, she's just highly compact. We reckon that we've also got an exhaust leak. Uh, what have we got? That tag there bolts on. As you can see, she has also come off, so there'll be a significant exhaust leak out of that little hole. So we have to weld that up once we get brake split, I suppose, eh? <laughs> so we'll... Yeah. Alright, so there's been a few hours on the car, eh? She's all back together. We've got a new launch of energy because we've just gone to bleed the handbrake with our handbrake problem. And from when we got the car from its uh, builder, so it's warranty and manufacturer, <laughs> marked it up, clutch, rear brake, front brake and handbrake. So there's our cylinder and we're wondering, our so master cylinder's all the way down there and then this is our remote reservoir filler. So we're wondering why, well, I'm not wondering actually, I didn't click onto it. Dmuck is wondering. I was wondering what why you have all the way there. What dick shit would put it <laughs> all the way there when you could put it in the rear? So he, fuck, we're not worried about that, bro. We're boom, straight <laughs> under the car, and we're unbolting the whole master under the car, followed the line up, and then realized that we've actually got our remote reservoir filler in the back. It's got no <laughs> fluid. So the last time that I bled the brakes was with B Party, Hulk Hogan, strong hand. And where else? I was like, just do it one more time, bro. As we go around the foot brakes, we'll just do it one more time. So I let them off, boom, nothing. Wouldn't bleed up. There was no, but it was perfect before that. And I was, bro, saying, I, to, I was saying to B party, bro, what are you doing? Why are you yanking on the end of it too bloody hard, you know? Hulk Hogan, the end of me friggin' handbrake, but she's got no fluid in it. 
<laughs> and if we would ever work on this car, we'd probably know what we're doing. Because this is our because <laughs> this is our first time this is our first time prepping and working on the six rotor. We don't have a freaking clue where anything is, what to do, but we're now to bash it. So this is us, hey. this is our team, and it's probably a good chance to plug our merch. If you want to come wear our gear, Benji, tell them where to get it from. Bro, jump on dub 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 maka motorsport.nz slash shop. But even just dot nz, jump in there, click the shop and grab yourself some Mucker merch. We've got a promo going at the moment, which is for the simulator. Now, every five bucks spent, you've got an entry draw into the simulator. It's a sick simulator. Check out our socials and uh, make sure that you obviously like, subscribe, jump on our YouTubes and just freaking get on there so you get notified when we can tell you about, you know, Mate, so tell you about, tell you about <laughs> the six rotor that we don't know. We know how to bash it, we know how to drift it, we know how to, we know how to do donuts to the grass, we know how to do everything but work on it, but we're very, very fastly learning how to work on the six rotor and how complicated it is. So we've got some Lucas brake floor, dot floor, uh, dot four, dot floor, <laughs> straight to the floor, what? Um, brake floor, dot floor, synthetic, so she's all good, we're gonna top her up. We're gonna bleed her up, and we're gonna get a handbrake. Fuck are you? Yeah, boys. Mars cylinders back in, and we're bleeding, brothers. Um, Not from the soul, though, eh? We're bleeding <laughs> brakes, brother. <laughs> Damn. We got some air now, boys. We're dry. Yeah, no flow yet, just a lot of air. <laughs> but have a look at that. Reservoir, now that we know where the reservoir is, no, she's good. She's good, bro. <laughs> Top it you up, good, bro? Eh? Just one hand on that handbrake, no. too. Oh, yeah. Now, we just found a wee issue in the back, though, eh? You yeah. might want to have a chat with d he's found a little issue. What's the issue, bro? Uh, we've got a fitting leaking under here, off the back of the master cylinder. Yeah, bro. That there would have been why it was weeping, eh? So it would have been weeping, I would have been losing pressure. It could be the start of why... Oh, I had no handbrake down in the chrome. Yeah. So, problem solved, hopefully. Tighten the fitting, top her out with oil again, keep pumping as hard as we can, halt. Is that cylinder no good? I think the thread in the back of the cylinder's gone, eh? Did you just strip it? No, that's why it's leaking, cut. Did you just strip it, bro? No. Look at me. You fucking 100%. Did, right? you did. I 100%. Bro, hey, to, you... there was a problem before I started working. Oh, on it. yeah. 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 yeah okay. Is that why you took it out and put it back in? Hey, you need to shut up with your whole Hogan arms, boy. And so we ended up out of my C10 pickup truck, full pedal set out of them that we grabbed from Humphreys. There was actually a master that was exactly the same. She is a little bit threaded yeah. in there. She was leaking out the back of the master which was causing the handbrake to lose its pressure when we we're using it in chrome. Uh, we've put the new master in, put another fitting in, sealed it up. B Dizzle's on the lever, Hulk Hogan. Yep. Oh, he's Hulk Hogan. Did you give us a bicep, give us, fuck. oh fuck bro. Better crack a sweat. Yeah, <laughs> hard. <laughs> Sorry bro, it was on your neck. <laughs> Sorry about <that>, bro. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> what does that lever feel like now bro? Good. Pull it back. Good. <laughs> Pull it back, big doggy. Oh, so, jeepers. That's way too far. It is oh, long. Are we out of fucking fluid? Are we out of fluid? Bro, you do, you've got one job. <laughs> you've got one fucking job, bro. Are we out of fluid? <laughs> <laughs> bro. We just, just suck the whole man to the fucking ear. You, <laughs> I'm trying to do I'm trying to view as a like, I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> bro, Hulk Hogan. Just, <laughs> if you jump on the other seat, bro. <laughs> Honestly, you can use the other I feel hand. like I'm left handed now. I'm that strong. I've been doing this for two days. Yeah, but if you jump on the other seat, bro, you can use the right. <laughs> the six rotor is done. All the brakes have uh, been bled. The handbrake come up. I just welded the stainless exhaust with the trusty MIG. Uh, we don't have any other stuff here, so got the trusty, the trusty Bach MIG on there. I've got the. Got the bonnet, uh, the show bonnet poles on, so to space the space the bonnet up, so you can see the uh, big cheese roll in there. Cause we're heading south, boys. Check those windows out, eh? Race spec, like my brother Renee. I had them first. We put them back in, copying them. Yes, I did, bro. <laughs> Dumb fuck. Send it, boy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, what do you mean? What do you want? Oh, now we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you guys don't have, bro, bro, you're splitting it. Cracking. Bro, you're splitting it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Bro, we struggle, eh? We don't know what we're doing much, like, hey? No we don't know what we're doing. It's actually nice having a mechanic here. We've bled brains. <laughs> <laughs> we're bro. bro. Are you kidding? <laughs> It runs. Oil pressure's good, everything else is good. It sounds good, the mm. exhaust manifold, everything's obviously. Benji's where you repair, there's no, yeah. Good, Benji's yep. little welding repair on the. Um, when you weren't here, bro? Slip joint? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Cody's very temporary with Mucka now, Don't he's sort to. of, he's <laughs> run off. And... We just miss you, bro. Yeah, good to be back, bro. I really appreciate the warm welcome. <laughs> Give them a cuddle, bro. Give them a cuddle, I've missed you. Give, give them a cuddle. Them, nah, I'm all good, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and get ready to chuck this thing into the trailer. So we're looking forward to getting on a new racetrack. Obviously, I've turned some laps there in, in my brother's Honda um, Civic that he's got, like a track car. But, yeah, it's definitely a cool track. Big, long straight. Mm. A huge, long sweeper that tightens, as B-Party knows. He's turned a few laps there as well. Oh, yeah. The of it back in the uh, in the cargo <laughs> days. Back so. with the old red WRX, mate. Sly STI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what the six road is like around there and um, me and B party stealing it off Benji for a little bit, eh? So you've had a few different types of earmuffs lately. How do you rate the SP tools ones? Actually pretty good. I do I do wish they were Bluetooth like my other ones. Bluetooth? Yeah. Bluetooth like my radio ones. That's the only improvement though. Just to put a speaker in them and chuck some yeah, Bluetooth yeah. through. Otherwise be fucking good earmuffs. That's actually quite good um quite good uh, product we can I don't know. Cut that bro. <laughs> Quite good product. <laughs> Cut that Plato. Uh... Hey, looking good in the new glasses, mate. They look sharp, eh? They actually oh. look really good. You know, look at there's no oh. tape hanging off the side of them or anything. Hey. Look how nice they are. Where'd hey, you get the them worst from? Thing is. Spec savers. Spec savers. Fix me up. I've got two pairs. We're actually never got the same ones, bro. Brothers. I go for the actual no, brothers. Actual brothers, eh? Hey? No. <laughs> oh, well, just like that. Tuesday night, just before uh, after Easter weekend, it's been a big weekend. Easter, prepping the six rotor, getting it all ready. Just loaded it up into the trailer. We've also very kindly been gifted Daddy Dave's uh, big Dodge Ram. Dodge Ram Longhorn Edition, bro. She's <laughs> got the saddlebags in the back seats, bro. Go check the saddlebags. Oh, They're look at this. Bro. Honestly, it's like the cowboy edition. If someone wants us to run a hole down in the Chicago, bro, <laughs> we're on. <laughs> look at this. Check out this. The old belt buckles. Got all the nice seats and everything. Old Dave's on. Oh, you better give it a tie shine for him, eh? Gave it a bit of a hole out. The old, old boy didn't look after it, eh? He had to give the dash a clean and everything. But she's a rig, mate. Yeah, ain't no slouching around here, that's for sure, mate. We are missing the 450, but we've got the back up out of the back paddock, you know, like, boys ain't missing out, we're still cruising in, in style. What are you working on here, boy? Bro, my new helmet. <laughs> Open face for the vlog, bro. For the vloggies, so we can get some yeah. facials going on. It was actually my super stock helmet. I just had a little uh, chin guard thing that I put on with a few furniture screws, but, um, yeah, nah. <laughs> now she's open face like D-Mucker, bro, and just stick a bomb her up. Yeah, about to take off in what, a couple hours now. I've got the ferry. Old Benji and D Mucker are going to fly down Thursday night to the old uh, big town of Invers. She's about a two hour flight here from Wellington. We've got the biggest trip down, bro. Two hour flight, biggest flight in New Zealand. Bro, you've got the biggest drive back, remember? <laughs> They're doing the long haul back, I'm doing the long haul down. So, uh, nah, it's going to be good. Share a bit of time. Lads on tour again in the weekend. So, hopefully, we'll bring you some footage shortly of uh, us ripping around Tirasonga. Who's the six rider, bro? It's in the back, brother. <laughs> Actual brothers, actual brothers, eh?